Hey everyone, Julia from Sunday Sounds here. In this video, we're going to take a look at our song specific patch designed in the style of the song you see on the screen. I'm going to demonstrate this song patch in its original key and at its original tempo. You can change the key you play or hear the song patch in by using Easy Transpose, and you can change the tempo as well. Details on how to adjust both the key and the tempo are included in your download. For this video, I'll be demonstrating the main stage version of this song specific patch. If you purchase the Ableton Live version, you'll be able to use this video to follow along just the same, seeing as the hand positions, song sections, layer ranges, and sound of the patch are the same. In main stage, you'll use your mod wheel to move through the various song sections. In Ableton, you'll use the macro knob labeled song section. Be sure to check out the full demo video for this song patch to see all the parts and sections in order and how we move the song section control throughout the song. This song patch has piano, pads, bass, organ, and synth, all triggered in the left hand range, which stretches from here, up to here. There is a piano sound from this note all the way up the rest of the keys. So that means that you can play your chords wherever you'd want, even reaching into the left hand range if you'd like. There is a synth lead sound layered on top of the piano from this note up the rest of the keys as well. You'll start the song with the song section control all the way down for your intro, verses, turnaround, pre-chorus, down chorus, and down bridge. At halfway will be the medium pre-chorus and medium bridge. And all the way up is the big chorus, the big bridge, and the tag at the end of the song. And remember that whether you're in main stage or Ableton Live, these positions are the same. For the intro, you'll have the song section control all the way down. You'll play octaves in your left hand and a piano lead in your right hand. Here's what the lead sounds like. Here's one more time slowly. With both hands, it sounds like this. You'll play that entire chord progression two times through for the intro. And this part does come back later in the song as the turnaround. The first time you play the turnaround, you'll play everything the exact same way, but it will only be half as long. The next time you play through the turnaround, you'll also have the song section control all the way down and play octaves in the left hand, but this time I like to play octaves in my right hand. Now, if this is too difficult for you, you can jump up an octave and just play single notes up here, or you could even play octaves up here to hit two octaves of that synth sound. But here's what it looks like with octaves. Here's with both hands. For the verses, you'll have the song section control all the way down. You will play octaves in the left hand and simple chords in the right hand. Now keep in mind you can play your chords however you'd like, even leading into the left hand range because it's just piano on all of these notes. Here's how I like to play my chords. So the verses are pretty straightforward. You'll just play through the chord progression with octaves in the left hand and those chords in the right hand. 
A verse does come back later in the song, where you'll again have the song section control all the way down and play everything the same way. For the pre-chorus, you'll have the song section control all the way down. You'll play octaves in your left hand and chords in your right hand. Now the first time through the pre-chorus, I like to start moving my song section control up to one half throughout the course of the pre-chorus, just because this part builds in the original recording. Now if your band decides not to build during this part, you don't have to do this. But here's how I like to play the pre-chorus. The next time you play the pre-chorus, you'll have the song section control at halfway to begin with. You'll play octaves in the left hand and those same chords in the right hand. The first time you play the chorus, it will be a down chorus, so you'll have the song section control all the way down. You'll play octaves in the left hand. Your right hand will play chords up high, keeping this note as the highest note that you play. So here's how I like to voice my chords for this section. So for this, I will pulse my right hand on the quarter notes like this. Then halfway through, I like to pulse my right hand on the eighth notes. The next time you play the chorus, it will be a big chorus, so you'll have the song section control all the way up. Play octaves in the left hand, and you can play your chords wherever you'd like in the right hand. I do like to pulse my right hand chords during the section, and sometimes in my thumb as well, just to help fill this space. The next time you play the chorus will be at the very end of the song. It'll again be a big chorus, so you'll have the song section control all the way up. You'll play octaves in the left hand and chords in the right hand. Now this part starts with a dropout. So for the first line of the chorus, you'll want to drop out entirely and then come in on your one chord, moving to the five, at the very end of the line. Again, depending on how your band decides to play this part, you may choose not to drop out, and that's perfectly fine. If you want to play those chords in that space, you can do so. There is a tag immediately following this chorus, which is just the last couple lines of the chorus repeated over and over. Just be sure to watch for that part in the demo.
for the bridge section, you'll have the song section control all the way down. You'll start this section with a vamp where you'll just hold on a one chord in your left hand and you'll pulse your thumb on the eighth notes. Then for the bridge, you'll play octaves in the left hand and I like to play simple chords in the right hand, like this. As you move throughout the bridge, you may decide to pulse your right hand along with the thumb of the left hand to help fill the space a bit more and build the section. On the repeat of the bridge, you'll bring the song section control up to halfway. Then throughout this second time through the bridge, you'll want to slowly start pulsing heavier, maybe pulse the right hand a bit more, and slowly inch the song section control to the top position, moving into the next section. Be sure to watch the full demo video to see all these parts in order and how we move the song section control throughout the song. Song specific patches work best in the Sunday Keys template for Mainstage and Ableton Live. Sunday Keys gives you all the sounds and tools you need to play live worship keys and all of our song specific patches integrate seamlessly with Sunday Keys. You can learn all about Sunday Keys for Mainstage and Ableton Live on our website. Thanks for checking out this song specific patch. I'm Julia with Sunday Sounds and I'll see you next time.